Alrighty, so here's a quick walk around of our 2021 Northern Light 10-2. Uh, sorry, we've got our uh, new project car on the way here, but um, wonderful, wonderful camper, no issues whatsoever. Got the awning extended out as well, so you can see, and we'll just kind of start there. Um, or we'll start over here, I should say. So electric happy jacks. Um, we have our propane tanks in here. Let's see, this guy's open with a slide out tray, dual propane, just great. Uh, you have your electric plug on this side, so two different outlets, outdoor waterproof speakers, of course, uh, a little vent for the uh, cooktop. These windows are also glass windows and they have, um, can't remember what they're called, but some kind of coating on them. So they make the camper a little bit cooler. Uh, this is the back of all your refrigerator so that you can access that, your access panel. It's an outdoor light. Again, the other speaker. This is the 10.2 LE uh, limited edition. So it's got all the goodies. Um, batteries are gonna be in here with this guy. Sorry, a little dirty here. But um, let's see, I don't know if this is gonna, perfect, it is open. So this is generator prepped. I just have a hose in there right now. You can see in the back, uh, hook up for electrical and for gas. That's how it came from the factory. Uh, with a little hole in the bottom to get the water out. Um, let me turn these lights on before we go inside. Awning light, side rear. So it's tough to see in the daylight, but these are all lit up with LEDs and they work great, actually really bright at night. Um, again, this is a power awning, which is fantastic. There's also an awning back here that I'm not going to extend, obviously, because it's right next to our garage. But you can see the lights up there, too. Um, LED tail lights, which are really nice when driving uh, for your turn signals and, and brakes and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> stairs right here that fold down, and there's also an extra stair that goes underneath that. So when you have this up in your truck, it's actually really easy to get out. It goes all the way to the ground. Um, you have your long storage compartment in here. It goes pretty much all the way, all the way back. It's a huge storage compartment. We have some firewood that we threw in there. We've never used it. Um, let me climb up top. Let me show you this first. So here is the um, VIN and some other information, manufacture date. So March of 21, uh, 3,600 pounds when it is wet. 36 gallons of water, uh, do, 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 10 gallons of bottled gas. And then five star rated four season. The only camper out there that's five star rated, I believe. Um, you have your backup camera up here, which comes with the module that you can put in your truck. This light that you can turn on as well. Let's see if I can do this one handed without crashing. All right, so you've got your little vent there. It's a Dometic um, air vent. You have your vent for your bathroom, and then I believe it's. 280 watt solar panels, one on either side. There's your air conditioner. And then I think that there's a satellite dish on the front. I've never used it. Um, but yeah, all right, climbing down. Okay, let's do a quick tour of the inside. So you've got your battery disconnect down here. Um, let me turn this fan off actually really fast. Turn it down. So, fan controls over here. We'll go through that in a second. Um, but starting from the beginning, you have your battery disconnect, a little fire extinguisher, um, also your awning controls and your light controls here. If we wanted to retract that awning, we could. It looks like so. So that'll take forever, so we'll go inside. Um, the screen door, really nice. Also has a little pass-through. So if you wanted to uh, pass drinks or whatever you have, you can do that. Um, these are the little shades. Everything's blacked out in the camper itself. Obviously, you want to drive with these up. And then you have your deadbolt on here. 
Um, you can open those shades. Honestly, I don't think I've ever opened that shade. Oh, maybe we have. Take that back. Okay. Moving on. Uh, this carpet piece you can remove. It's really nice. You just take it and shake it out. If it gets dirty, you can vacuum that out as well. Here is the dry bath. It's been wonderful. I'm taking a few showers in here. I'm six foot three and I can stand up in this thing, no problem. Um, there's that fan that I was telling you about. Also has a light on either side, so it gets really bright in here. Little spot for your TP, little spot for your towel. Um, and then right here, it's where you can scoot this guy across all the way and it actually clicks into place. I can do it one handed, there we go. So there's your dry bath, keeps everything separated, which is awesome, super easy to use. And again, if you're taller, I am six foot three, and there you go. Standing straight up, there's actually just a little bit of room for me to stand in here. So that's awesome. Um, okay, I guess maybe the last thing, shower, you can take that thing off. Uh, moving around the shower head, which is great. Uh, sliding door also locks into place. And it has a magnet in there too, so it actually holds it on pretty good. Oh gosh, what's in here? Pack and play box. Uh, so huge closet. We just use this for storage normally. have your rear camera your rear light controls here and then all of your cabinetry the drawers are real wood drawers which is really nice um, you have your Dometic things are held tight Dometic freezer you could either do keep it on auto you can put it on gas um, it'll actually switch between the two. So if you have it with shore power, it'll automatically switch over. Um, going down to the fridge. And again, another big fridge. Nice and clean. Uh, does an awesome job here. All right, so you have your fan control, your light. Here's your three burner stove with backsplash. Uh, this has been a great, great burner. Um, so you can be cooking with that. Also, here's the top to the sink, which also works as a um, cutting board. So sometimes if I've, when I've cut on here, just put it over there. You can kind of prepare your food uh, and then have your sink open, have your cooktop open, and then still have some room to put uh, other food out there. Uh, LED lights everywhere, which is great. Just a little bit of more storage. More storage. This unit did come with a microwave. Never used it before. So it's brand new. Um, all of your controls here for um, your entertainment system. Uh, also has a charging system, which is great. Um, plugs if you're connected to shore power, if you have a generator. Let's see, what else? Electric water heater or gas water. You can switch between the two. So you've got electric and gas. Uh, you've got a compartment down here for your trash, trash can. A little spot for uh, your sponge. Area for silverware. I guess you could do whatever in any of these, right? Um, here's the extra Here's the extra step that'll connect to that back step. So we just keep it underneath our, um, our, uh, gosh, our area here, um, our table. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> uh, all the cables are stored in here. Um, little area for shoes. You have all of your fuses in here. Um, another storage compartment. Everything clicks in really nice too. So you actually have to pull it pretty hard to even get it out. Um, more storage on this side. 
Sorry if I'm kind of going crazy here. Um, okay, so you saw me use this before. So this is the fan control. Uh, you also have your monitor for your uh, fresh tank, your holding tanks, gray tank, black tank, battery condition. Your water pump is here. It is 91 degrees currently, so it's pretty darn hot. This is your thermostat, so you can control um, both your your heating and cooling of this unit. Uh, and then just like this little alarm clock deal there. This is um, a little bit different window here. So this guy, being that it does have the glass windows, this actually opens up all the way. You gotta get it right there. You can open up and there's your emergency exit. Uh, we'll close this back up. Okay. Um, this table slides either way, which is really nice. I've got it locked, I think. Let's see if I can undo this really quick for you. So if you unlock it just a little bit, you can slide it either way. Um, just handy. And then also push it down if you grab this guy. And that'll go all the way flat. You can remove the cushions and this this will turn into a bed and again i'm six foot three i almost fit on here i think a six foot person would fit on here if you laid everything down um which is great that's a lot of space also something to point out all the heating so there's heating in the floor ducts also i guess through the basement they call it there's also heating up in the living area which is great you can see some of these guys tucked away some of the vents um, they are awesome. This heater kicks on and, and just blasts. It's wonderful. Um, really nice carpeted ceiling here. Um, you have your TV, which actually slides. You can pull it out. I can't do it one-handed, but you can pull it out even further. Super nice. Um, really deep compartments if you wanted to put any storage in here. Also, you have storage compartments on both sides. Uh, it's nice to mention this is a queen size bed, so full queen size, not a camper queen. Here's another huge closet. Both of those windows open on either side. Everything has blackout curtains, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, additionally, there's this partition that comes through. So if you want some privacy, you can do that. Or if your wife's sleeping, your husband's sleeping, and you're cooking, you can just kind of close it up. All right, a couple more things. Um, here is, I have my back and do this. So a little bug shield if you want it. And then tough to do with one hand, but let's try. So you can open this all the way up. Get a lot of fresh air. Stare at some stars. All right. Can we close this up and let's go to full dark mode while we close everything up. Here are your blackout curtains. You can see just how dark it really gets. Turn this off. I'll close this guy up. Turn these guys off. These are all LED lights too, which are just fantastic. Turn that guy off. It's already getting pretty dark in here. Turn that off. Close this. Close the window. Okay. All right, and you can see if we close the door really quick.
right. Well, with that being said, that concludes the video. Thanks so much for watching. All right, bye-bye.